boys and girls. Welcome back to art. Last time we've been talking about the colors of the rainbow and we colored our rainbow using crayons and making sure that we had filled in all our spaces and colored neatly. Um, today, and I told you today we're going to return and we're going to actually create a collage um, kind of piece to go along with our rainbow and it's going to be a little tricky because we're going to have to rip some pieces of paper and we're going to also be gluing. So some materials I have, I have my rainbow from last week. I have a piece of wax paper, but it does not have to be wax paper. It can be a placemat. It can be something that I'm just sticking my rainbow on so that I'm not getting glue and gluing it to my surface because I don't want to do that. Um, I'm actually going to flip it upside down so that I am not working across what I'm trying to do. I have some Q-tips and I have just like this little container and the reason I'm going to do that and why you have the Q-tips is I'm going to take my glue and I don't need very much. You can see I just put a little bit in there and I'm actually going to add just a little bit of water. See I don't even have very much in the cup but I'm just going to barely drop some in there. And you can kind of see what I have because I'm going to try to make my glue go a little bit faster, but also because sometimes when we're little and even when we're big, we can make a huge mess with our glue and get it everywhere. And we don't really need that much glue. So this is going to help us to use a little bit less glue and put it on our pieces and maybe not get it everywhere. So I'm going to use that. I also have some colored construction paper, uh, but you do not need this, boys and girls. I just grabbed some if you do have construction paper at home. I also was grabbing magazines, and I was going through it, and I was ripping out some colors that I saw because I was like, oh, she's got a nice red hat on. I see some yellows, some like indigo color, some red, green that I'm going to use when I'm putting this together. So we talked to, we're gonna say that collage right now, it was um, when you take paper and you glue it on top of another flat surface and paper here. So we're gonna actually be ripping paper. So when you rip paper, we don't wanna be like <clears throat> trying to rip it across like that. If you actually take your paper and you pull it you can rip your pieces and I don't want these itty bitty little pieces, but I also need to be able to fit with inside my red. So I'm going to rip some smaller pieces and kind of see how they fit on there. And I'm not going to rip a bunch all at once because I want to make sure I'm not ripping things that I don't truly need. So I was able to take and rip that up. And I'm going to go ahead and start gluing some of those. And this is why I said this might come in handy because then I can just kind of gently lay, put the glue on there with my, my Q-tip and lay it onto my paper. And I don't have to get it, hopefully, see, and now I'm using my little fine motor skills with pinching and grabbing my paper. And I'm just going to gently put the glue on there and I'm going to put it on my paper. And I'm trying to stay inside. See, and I don't even need to get a lot of glue. You notice I didn't go in there and swirl it all around. I don't need to do that. I'm just going to lay it gently on my rainbow. And I'm going to make my way around. So I'm going to grab another one. And again, I'm just holding it little with my, my fingers. I didn't swirl it around and go and get a big old gob of glue. We don't need that much glue. I'm going to wipe some of that off. I'm just going to get a little bit of glue. And I'm going to stick it on my paper if you get glue on you boys and girls it's okay you can wash your hands um, when you're done so see I'm just putting some glue on there and I'm making my way around my rainbow so I'm gonna continue to do that like I said I also went and got magazines or things that you get in the mail so I'm gonna come and pull some of this red off here and notice how I'm just kind of ripping I'm going around this is a great way to really build our fine motor skills is trying to pick up and utilize things with our fingers. So I'm going to rip some of these papers up. I'm going to need them kind of small so that they fit inside that space. Again, I'm just gently putting on my red, my glue there. I don't need a lot. And I'm going to make my way around my red. So I'm going to so finish as that. I'm making my way around the rainbow, I started realizing that I really like the texture that it's putting on here. 
Um, but I also went back and was like, ooh, I like kind of doing a pattern. So I'm using the magazine construction paper, magazine construction paper, magazine construction paper. A pattern is something that repeats and goes over and over again. So that's what I'm doing on my red right now. And I also was started working, was thinking about it. Instead of putting it on the pieces, here is another way you could do it. And you do whatever way is easiest for you. So again, I just have the glue on here and I'm just gonna take and put a little bit, I don't wanna go all the way down because then my glue is gonna start drying, is I'm going to go and put a little bit on here and then continue on my path down my rainbow as I'm working. And again, I'm continuing my pattern so that it repeats. See, now I finished that glue, but it didn't have an opportunity to dry. So another idea is sometimes we get tired of working on something all in one time and a lot of artists don't finish their artwork in one sitting. And you guys have an entire week until you guys have my next lesson. So you could always do, I'm gonna work on my red today, but next tomorrow I'm gonna work on my orange and I'm gonna go find my orange pieces and rip those up. Um, so you can do them on different days or if you wanna do a couple colors on one day, um, if you see them sticking up a little bit, you could go down back and push them in with your finger and um, to hold it down because sometimes the glue just hasn't had an opportunity to dry and so the pieces kind of curl up because of the moisture. All right, boys and girls, here you can see that I started in with my orange and I'm doing the same thing. If you have areas where they're sticking up, you can use a little bit of glue to kind of push them down there. You can see where I'm doing with the Q-tip. But I'm doing the same thing I did with the red. I'm laying down my orange using a pattern, using the magazines that I found with orange and also the construction paper going back and forth, laying them down on my paper, ripping small pieces, creating my collage. and girls so I'm adding a little bit more yellow on mine now and getting to this part and finishing it up I am adding some areas on here that have a lot of texture I found pictures in a magazine that had more texture like this was a mascara brush and I thought it would look really neat the more texture a picture has it's gonna look really nice on your collage but what I want you to do is finish up your collages by next week so that we can finish this project. I'm going to finish mine and I want you to put it aside and let it dry and we'll come back next week. Bye boys and girls.